Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I just want to say how to buy your own ticket on Transperth property, for example, at a train station. I'll be showing you an example here at Success Hill train station. Now the first thing to do is when you come over here to the train station to get a ticket, first you just, when it says tap screen to buy a ticket, just tap the screen wherever you want and and if if you're a concession just press concession and you would have a choice of how many zones or sections you're traveling through if you don't know where you're going exactly if you know where you're going but you don't know which zone to use then press here suburb then just write down your thing let's say Ellenbrook E L Ellenbrook there see just say Ellenbrook for example and it'll come up with um, how many zones you got to travel through and how much the price would be and where what you can pay with so so that's just an example um, let's go back to zones if you know where you're going let's say you're going to Mandra you'll need seven zones and four dollars ninety here um, that's just for an example so if you you want to know what the zones are the zones are here with the number and the zones the prices are here and you can pay right here or here or the cash if you've got cash notes if there if it accepts bills but it doesn't here at excess hill um so we'll go back and we'll show you the example of um standard so standard is um, basically the same as concession. Um, on concession and standard, you can have a choice of day ride um, and whatnot. Um, two sections. Let's say two sections. Um, for a two-section fare on Trans Perth here, on a concession fare, a standard fare, sorry, it's two sections with two dollars twenty. Let's see what it's like on concession. Concession two sections see two sections right here and a dollar for a concession um, let's go back to the main menu if you're planning on buying a ticket for um, the for a group of let's say a few people um, if any like I said before if you don't know where you're going press suburb and type up where you're going let's say you're going to East, Fre East Fremantle and you want to get some um, let's say three concession fares let's pay um, so if you get three passes there'll be two zones to East Fremantle then that will be six dollars thirty for a trip to from Success Hill here to um, East Fremantle so now let's say you're a concession fare going to the airport with um, suburb that will be P E R P P E R T H Perth uh, Perth Airport and you're traveling with four people pay that will be for concession that will be two zones and eight dollars forty so there's just a few examples on how to travel on public transport so I hope that makes uh, traveling on public transport easier um, if you're wondering how to use public transport with cash tickets you can use it on any service the bus the train and the ferry all tickets are included in any Transperth journey from two to three hours depending on how many zones you're traveling through so let's say in this case you're traveling from zones one to four that will be a two hour trip if you're traveling from zones five to nine or inwards to zone one that will be um, that will be three hours in general to travel so I hope that makes it easier for you and remember if you ever want to use buses trains and the ferry um, one ticket can give you a limited access on public transport for a certain amount of time unless you get an all day pass or something along those lines. If you ever have any questions 
please call the Transperth in info line on 13 62 13 or visit the Transperth website at www.transperth.wa.gov.au. Thank you for watching. I also forgot to mention that um, we've got uh, stations like these. All stations have these little poles with um, the amount of zones and station names at every station and it shows you a lot of things. Um, so if you need to know which station and if you're just catching the train, just look at this too. And also, if you're wondering when the next train is, just come up here to um, these information things, uh, information times, and just check when your next train is. So the next train from Perth to Midland in this case will be in six minutes. The train after that will be in 14 minutes. And the train going to Perth in the city um, will also be in six minutes. And the train after that will be in 16 minutes. So, and also, if you need some um, information or emergency, that's the emergency um, situation. So if you need to have some help with like a transit guard, if you need a transit guard to come and help, click that. And also this, if you need some information, you can just press that and ask them for some information. And if you are, I guess, kind of blind or something, not to be rude to anyone, but um, just press these but these any of these two buttons here or something, and um, and they'll give you the information on um, what's happening. So if you press that one to Midland or from the city, I should say from Perth, that will give you all the details going to, from the city. And this basically works in the exact same way. Going to the city tells you what is happening and tells you what's going on. And if you're wondering what's happening so if you need some more information like I said just get a call from that or call the emergency one to help